we're talking about Vic Fangio. I think it's uh, definitely an interesting hire because Vic Fangio, right? Um, at least in Denver, he ran the three form scheme uh, as opposed to the 49ers four three scheme. But like a lot of people are trying to point that out, and uh, I pointed that out as well. But I think the important part is Vic Fangio and the 49ers defense. They do a lot of similar things in that. They try to disguise coverages through zone coverage, and they try to – like, they, they're zone-heavy schemes with a bit of man press in them. And the whole point is to disguise coverages, which is exactly what D'Amico Ryan, Ryan's loves. And as the consultant role, like, uh, I think Fangio still wants to take the money that he's owed from Denver, and I don't know if he can do that if he takes, like, an a, a offensive assistant role. So if he hi- gets hired as a consultant this year, potentially leaves the door for him being the defensive coordinator in a 4-3 scheme once D'Amico Ryan sleeps. Right. Uh, that's interesting because I was wondering why he would go for a consultant role versus, you know, just getting a job because I'm sure there's a lot of defensive coordinator positions open, but that makes sense if it's a money thing. Richards, along with you, I love Vic Fangio. I just don't know how he will fit based on the type of defense he typically runs. My only, um, I guess, concern is I think D'Amico Ryans is an ascending star as a defensive coordinator. I think he has evolved beyond expectations of what he was able to do last year. And sometimes if there's too many cooks in the kitchen, uh, it, things can regress. And I think there's it's smart to maybe have a guy like Vic Fangio on deck just because I assume this would be the last year we have D'Amico. If he has any type of success like he had last year being the defensive coordinator, just with his stature in the league, his relationships with uh, with players, and his you know being a former stud player in the NFL as well, I believe he'll be you know a hot asset or a hot commodity when it comes to coaching the next hiring cycle. So having Vic Fangio come in as a smooth transition would be good. I just don't know what a consultant would be. Is he going to be around the team every single day? Is this just something where he's on you know? Uh, what's it called on call if the Nico needs him he comes in like I don't know what exactly a consultant role entails um so I guess if we get more definition on that or yeah I mean he's not even hired yet it was just they're just in discussion so this could all be moot but that's the only thing how hands-on is he going to be and is it going to take away from D'Amico and his development because I think he's a star in the in the making so I would I wouldn't want him to regress just because there's another, you know, head coach caliber, defensive coordinator caliber type person there now that could take a little bit of of the shine away from him. And when you talk about the regression, I think that's an interesting point. Because I think, like, while a guy like Fangio, like, Danilo Ryan's praises, like, or his defenses are built on aggression, right? Last mm-hmm. offseason when he came in as the defensive coordinator, he said the difference that he was going to have in terms of his defense and Robert Salas, he wanted to be more aggressive with the defensive line, build his defense through that, and have the subsequent levels of the defense follow the defensive line. And that's what they did this year, right? They had 48 sacks, which I think was third in the league, and a, a very high sack percentage, um, which was top three in the league as well. So when you look at it, like, D'Amico Ryan's definitely, like, excelled in his role this year. But I think a guy like Vic Fangio brings the the intangibles kind of to a guy like D'Amico Ryan in terms of the head coaching kind of acumen, uh, how Vic Fangio has uh, controlled games before with decisions. And I think he could help uh, Ryan, who hasn't really had that experience out uh, with uh, during his time as a consultant or whatever his role would be with the 49ers. In addition... Um, like a guy like Vic Fangio, who's been able to generate consistent pressure with a 3-4, that could definitely be helpful to Ryan if he wants to disguise his scheme, if he wants to just drop players back in coverage and rush three, or if he wants to bring the blitz, but in a 3-4. So definitely it can open up to Miko Ryan's mind, who loves disguising coverages already, to even more uh, variety, or uh, like to even more possibilities. Right. 